Hi there folks and welcome to another Shifty Mover video and again I are in the F-16C and today we're going to have a little look at uh, Edo Air Refueling. Currently in the, uh, its current state it is only working on the Caucasus map for some strange reason. Okay, right, a couple of things you're going to need to do some air to air refueling is a tanker. Um, so you need to be able to locate the tanker. So one of the things we can use is Takan. To use Takan on the F-16 is very, very straightforward. Uh, we press the number one on the uh, upfront controller and this brings up the uh, TACAN details and ICLS, ILS details on the DED. So what we need to do is uh, change TACAN from receive to air to air transmit receive. Um, so we need to press sequence until it says AATR. Uh, then we need to select the channel and I've got the tanker set for channel 14 so I'm going to press down and select channel 14 press enter and we should hear some beeps if you need to ch change the band X and Y you need to press the uh, M uh, the zero key the M dash C E L and that will change it between bandwidth Y and X but X is fine for this okay now we have the correct TACAN uh, band programmed in we need to come down here to the HSI and press the M button at the bottom uh, to change it from nav mode to TACAN mode. So we press M until it says TAC. See now it says TACAN, we have a distance which is 32 nautical miles and a direction towards the tanker. Okay, let's go find the tanker. What we also need is to uh, change the radio. So the uh, F-16C has two radios, COM1 and 2, that we can use up here on the upfront controller. We're going to tune uh, COM1 is the UHF at the top and COM2 is the VHF which is currently set to 121 and the other one is set to 251. Uh, we want to change that to 252 for my tanker frequency. So I'm going to press the COM1 button. I'm then going to type in the frequency I want, which is 25200, enter, and the frequency for the uh, UHF radio has changed to 252. Follow the steer points, and go and intercept the tanker. So as you can see, we've got the weather set here, rather interesting. Marco, passing waypoint three at 15,000. we got some uh, medium to high altitude Marco, clouds, quite thick, making it very difficult to spot the tanker. So we're going to have to navigate to the tanker using the tanker. 17 miles directly ahead. And we've just had a report on the radio that the tanker is at 15,000. I'm currently at 13,800, which is good, because I don't want to be at exactly 15,000 in this cloud. I may accidentally ram him. I'm just going to change the bingo fuel warning. So I'm going to press the list button and we have a, a list of options here and bingo is on number two. I'm going to change the bingo fuel warning down to 1000. And then press return. Okay, tanker is eight miles directly ahead. Uh, no visual. Ah, there we go, got visual. Continue closing. Now I'm going to contact the tanker, let him know I'm coming, and because I have drop tanks on, we're going to open up the uh, fuel port already, which is this switch here, which is air refuel. I'll just zoom in so you can see it. Air refuel, this switch. And we're going to press that to open up the uh, refueling port. Okay, I'm going to press the COM1 button for transmit. Uh, let's just pull that up. So here we have transmit UHF and transmit VHF. You need to set these buttons to uh, uh, your HOTAS for using the uh, correct radios. So I'm going to be using transmit UHF switch. Selecting F6 for tanker, F1, intent to refuel. Arco, dodge, five, one, request rejoin. Dodge, five, one, Arco, proceed to pre-contact at 
Okay, using Takan because I've lost visibility. He's behind this cloud. Two miles. There he is. Got visual again. Just going to accelerate a little, close the gap. Tanker should be doing around about 300 knots. Okay, overall fuel 7,800. One mile out. So now we're going to close up to the tanker's left wing, get in formation with him, and get ourselves nice and settled, move in behind the uh, the boom and tell him we're ready. of air brake just to slow down. Okay, down, drop down to 304. 302 and we seem to be sort of holding position so it seems to be about a 301 302 knots indicated so I'm going to close up now a bit more Okay, move in directly behind the boom. This sort of distance, you then tell him you're ready. Ready, recontact. Cleared contact. Okay, cleared contact, which means move into position. Now we're using the lights underneath the nose of the tanker to get ourselves into position, which you can't see from here. So just fly yourself into position, and then once you get close enough, you'll be able to see the lights. Just watch the boom on the way in. It will lift up out the way once you get close enough. But uh, just uh, fly slightly inside or outside of it while you're making your initial approach into the light area. So I've got a good light uh, for altitude. Okay, got a good light for position. Contact. And we're in. Now we just sit here, fill up. You're taking fuel. And keep an eye on the lights.
and once you're full it will automatically disconnect And then you need to slow down and drop down to avoid the boom on the way out. Check position behind you and then drop back, form up on the right hand side. Make sure you close the uh, refueling port. just straightened up and there we go as you can see we are full on fuel and continue on our mission turn the TACAN off we select uh, number one on the keypad and then select uh, sequence back to receive and the TACAN is now off and we can continue on our mission Thanks for joining me. Hope you found it uh, useful, interesting, and uh, bye for now.